The climate crisis has to be addressed as quickly as we can. Right here in Ontario, transportation is the largest greenhouse gas emitting sector, so we really can't achieve our climate goals if we don't tackle transportation. This is huge for me. Well, I've spent my whole career as an environmental lawyer, so I've been thinking about emissions and the climate for more than 20 years. I used to work for Ontario Power Generation, Ontario's largest uh, power generator, and I had sort of an aha moment where I thought, wow, if we could get people to plug in cars, especially at night when they had a surplus on the grid, we could drop emissions uh, from transportation and uh, it's good for the economy. It just made so much sense to me. Welcome too, yeah. to the Electric Thank Vehicle you. Discovery Thank you. Center. We're glad to be here. Yeah, it's fun. Have you been here before? No. Oh, it's your first time. Yeah, well, welcome. Yeah. Well, Plug and Drive is a not-for-profit. We started as a small entrepreneurial startup. We had this idea, wouldn't it be amazing if we could have sort of a one-stop shop where people could come and learn about the cars and also to have all the different makes and models in one spot where people don't have to go from dealer to dealer and there's no pressure to buy anything. And this is what we built. The great thing about the center is that they've gathered these cars here. You can come and drive them. You can sit in, sit in them and check them out. Uh, many of the dealerships don't even have these vehicles yet or they have to order them in before you can even test drive it. Here at the center, you can test drive it, you can feel it, you can understand it, and then you'll be for, much more comfortable. The key was that experience of getting in the car and sort of having that moment where they're driving and say, wow, this is a good car. I, it's a regular car, I could, I could drive this car. The experience was just so unlike driving in an ordinary car. The quietness was really, really something that uh, had made an impression on me. I was like, wow, this is great. And actually here we have fundamental EV 101, which is EVs reduce emissions by about 90% here in Ontario. And then you also save a lot of money because electricity costs about one fifth the cost of gas. We really focus here on education. My favorite exhibit is the history wall. I absolutely love it. A lot of people don't realize that electric vehicles go back to the early 1800s. This is sort of fascinating to see the fall of the EV and then the rise again. It's certainly pretty exciting to see the resurgence. And now, of course, where you have automakers committing to electrifying every make and model they make, it's a really exciting time in electric cars. I switched and I was spending about four to five hundred dollars a year, so easily saving two thousand dollars a year just on fuel alone. There are still challenges. We still have to convince the consumer. People still have a lot of misunderstandings about the cost of the vehicles. Uh, they think they're very expensive and there's cars at every price point so people don't know this. They, they are confused about range of cars. They don't realize most of their driving can fit in the range of the cars. So there's still, there's still lots of work to do. Climate change is a concern of mine and uh, it has been for a long time. I've got a 10 year old boy and I want to see him have a future and I want to see everyone have a future. A lot of people don't know what to do or feel maybe what they do isn't going to make a difference. And uh, we know working here at Plug and Drive that actually what you do can make a big difference. Switching to an electric car, I've dropped my individual emissions by something in the order of 5,000 kilograms annually, which is huge, actually. That's a huge amount of emissions. And so if every individual took steps like that, we really could make an impact on reducing the chance of catastrophic climate change. Most of us in our everyday life could be activists. Just think about your transportation. Take transit, bike, or walk. Hey, if you don't own a car, don't. Stick with that, but if you do own a car, uh, you gotta seriously think about switching that to an electric car. It's not a hard switch to make and you can drop your emissions by as much as 90%. Plant trees. Trees are great carbon reducers and even if you don't have your own property, tree planting in parks or local community areas is possible. 
Talk to your children about the importance of climate change and what can be done. And make sure you expose them to nature so they'll grow up caring about this planet and our environment. People ask me, you know, uh, do you ever feel bad about leaving your law practice behind? And I say, not for one minute, I don't. This is what I'm meant to be doing. I'm thrilled. Does it show? <laughs>